I'm Lindsay Scherer, and I did my project on Wallwisher. Wallwisher, we give you a nearly blank page, a wall. You put anything you want on it, anywhere. Simple, yet powerful. First, we'll look at what is Wallwisher. Wallwisher is an internet application that allows people to express their thoughts on a common topic easily. Next, we're going to look at some things that you can do with Wallwisher. And I'm going to show you some examples of each one of these. One thing you can do is make notice boards. Post messages in a wall, just like you would on a real notice board. Have followers, followers subscribe to the RSS feed to get the messages delivered to them automatically. And here's an example. This is a notice board of a in-house soccer club and it just um, shows the schedule, people can post pictures, it's just kind of communication for the team um, and a way to keep up for practices and things that are going on with the team. Our next example um, would be Teach. This is perhaps the easiest site for children to use. You can post questions and get their answers. You can give them feedback all on the same page. And I'll show you an example of how they use this. This is where the teacher has made an assignment for the word of the day, fascinate, and she says to make a sentence with this word and post it here. Remember to put your name on the post. And the students have just made different posts on how they can use the word fascinate in a sentence. Another idea we could use would be to bookmark your favorite sites. You can put your favorite links all on one page. If the links have videos, slideshows, documents, you can view them on your wall itself. And I'll show you an example of bookmarking page. And this is where someone has put their tutorials and resources um, all on their page, just a way to organize their thoughts and ideas. Another thing would be to make it like a discussion board. And the discussion, Mac or PC, iPhone or Android is their example. Discuss it all in a group. Use the moderation feature to keep the nasty ones in check. And the moderation feature is you can set it up when you set up a wall to make sure that you um, can see all the posts before they're posted on your wall. And I'll show you an example of this discussion wall. And here's just the example of the board, um, Windows versus Mac, which is better. You can choose any topics to discuss, and this would be um, interesting in a classroom um, to have students um, comment on things they like better or things that have worked for them better. Um, just a neat tool to, for, um, to use for discussion. Another good idea that you could use this wall wisher for is to brainstorm, share ideas, and use the free flow layout to separate the good ones from the bad ones. This might be good in a um, classroom to brainstorm stories for an idea. ideas for a story, and I'll give you an example of this. In this example, people are looking for a name for their son, something unique, different from the usual names, and. He, they, I guess they send it to their friends and family, and they are um, friends and family are just, are just commenting on ideas, names that they like, names they might not like, um, meaning of names. Um, this is wish friends. Wish someone together on their special day with cards and songs. On the example here, they are wishing a friend a... Uh, um, Happy birthday. You could use this in the classroom if you had a classmate that was ill or was out for some um, some reason or even it might be fun just to do for students, student, different students' birthdays or maybe the student of the day. Have everyone write something new, I mean something nice about them. Another idea would be to plan events. Why use complicated solutions? Just create a wall. Email it out and ask your friends to RSVP on the wall. Manage other things like logistics or food on the same page. And I'll show you the example for this. This person posted um, about a get-together they're having. Um, different friends are posting if they can come or not, what they might bring, 
some people are posting their address. Um, you could do this when planning with teachers um, or any kind of event. You could also create a wall to um, keep notes, friends, phone numbers, addresses, favorite quotes. You can put them all together on a page and use the privacy settings to keep the notes to yourself. And this person just made a um, page about their favorite love quotes and um, has posted just to keep track of things she wants, quotes she wants to remember. A couple more ideas you can do with Wallwisher. Make lists. You have things to do, shopping lists. Make them on Wallwisher and using Wallwisher's full smartphone and tablet support, you can carry them with you. And this person has um, made a list of what Christmas gifts she needs to get for her friends and family. And this would be something good to have on your smartphone when you're out shopping with the holiday season coming up. Watch and share videos. Scour the internet for videos and watch them on one page. Share your comments with your friends. And this is a part of someone is talking about their optical illusions, some of their favorite ones, and um, maybe some friends can comment or post ones that they like. Learn. A wall is infinitely big. Use the screen to creatively to make up a simple question and answer page for your friends. This person did a Japanese English colors practice. Translate these color names in English. Scroll all the way down to see the answers. And one last idea would be to use a, a wall to collect feedback. You can get anonymous feedback from friends and readers and clients. You can embed the wall on your blog or site to collect this feedback right, right there. And this is a wall. What do you think about wall wishers? Comments, criticisms, complaints, all welcome. And people can post. You can post your name or you can post anonymous. And... Um, tell your thoughts. You could do any any idea that you wanted to get feedback on. This would be good for teachers to um, post to students to get feedback on field trips or lessons or things they've learned, find out what knowledge they've learned about certain subject. Okay, next I'm just going to show you how to actually create a wall in Wallwisher. Just going to go to the um, wallwisher.com And this is um, Wallwisher's homepage. You can, um, I'll scroll down for you, and you can see kind of what it looks like. These are um, the examples we just went over in the PowerPoint presentation. And you can click on each one of these, and it will give you the demo that I just showed you in the presentation. But to get started, we um, we can go to build a wall and what you'll do is you'll um, let me get this. you'll go right here to um, select an image and as you can see they have many different choices. You can use one of their images or if you wanted to click here, if you had an idea, you wanted to upload one of your own, you could use um, that. For this, I'm going to just use this gorilla because I'm going to do a topic on animals. Okay, so I've got my gorilla up there, and now I'm going to just close out of that. And you go right here to create your title for your page. And let's see, I think I'm going to do favorite animals. And for my subtitle, you can put more information in there and kind of give a better description of what you might want from somebody 
to respond to this page. I'm going to do this for a younger group of students, so I will say, what is your favorite animal? And why? Okay. And next, we've got our title and our subtitle. And next, we're going to go down here to preferences. And our preferences, first, you can, who can view this? And I'm going to click everyone. If you want to just, you, you to view it for right now, you could if this was like, uh, um, reminder board for you or something you were doing just for you you click that but I'm going to do everyone can view so the whole class can do it and who can post sticky notes and I'm going to say everyone so everyone can participate in this um, online board um, and then you have a box down here that says I want to approve every post before it shows up on the wall and um, I'm going to click that because I that's so I can screen the post before they Go on the wall and then you go to right here and this is your URL and you can type in a title if you want to or um, you don't have to um, if you don't want to it'll the um, wall wisher will just create one for you but if you want one just to pertain kind of to your topic then you can do it and there can be no spaces so I'm going to do favorite animals and then we move over. Oh, also you can look, you can change your theme. If you want a different background, back here, I'm going to choose, I think I like this blue one, so I'm going to pick that. So here's our wall. We've got it all set up. And we're going to go over here and click Done, and that'll get us started. And this is my wall, as others will see it. Um, it'll pop up, and you'll also receive a message that your wall is um, ready in your email, and that'll contain your URL for your wall. Okay, and then to add something to your wall, you double click to add a sticky note. And it says, Ellie Share says, and I would write my message, my favorite animal. Is. And I could put what it is. If I had sent this to you and you just logged on, it would say anonymous says, and so you would have to um, type your name in so I would know who was posting if you wanted to get credit for this. And then down here they have a place where you can add an image, audio, or video link. So if you want to add a picture of your favorite animal or a video of your favorite animal or um, whatever you wanted to add, you could add it right here. And then you just click OK. And then you can go back and edit your post. It tells you when it was posted. Um, later on, I'll say an hour ago, or tell it that, you know, exactly the time you posted. Um, and then if I wanted to add another one, I could double click or and write something else. Um, dog. Just for example, I'll just show you how these and I just click OK and then these sticky notes can be moved all around so if you were um, wanted to organize them in a certain way you can do that okay okay now that we've gone through how wall wisher works and how to make a wall I want to um, list some of the pros and cons that I, I feel um, most importantly it's free which is uh, always a benefit for teachers um, number two, it's super easy. You, as you can see, you can create a wall in less than five minutes. Um, it's accessible at any time, anytime you have internet access. It's got multimedia embedding, and a uh, big thing is the moderator controls. You have control over what's posted on the wall, so you can really um, make sure that students aren't posting inappropriate things or making make sure of what goes on there before it's on there and it allows for individualism you saw all the different ways um, that you can use um, wall wisher or all the different demo boards that I showed you there's just um, numerous possibilities um, some cons could be that I know not all users have internet access at all times I know some of our students go home and they don't have access to a computer um, reading through some of the 
um, other people's comments on it that said that it's um, maybe slow on older technology. And the one thing is that when you're posting, there is a 160 um, character limit, which if you had a lot to say, that might be uh, um, an issue. But for you know students and just trying to organize ideas and what I think mostly we would be using it for, that wouldn't be an issue, especially with the um, younger population. Um, I also found a website that had tremendous amount of ideas for use in the classroom, um, ways to use it as a real notice board. You can um, read through some of these. They are um, really great ideas. Also a way you can use it um, using video. These are some more fun um, ideas. You can use it in the classroom. Um, good ideas for using writing assignments. Um, some good ideas for reading. Some um, great ideas for vocabulary. All of these would be um, wonderful to use in the classroom. And a few more, um, brainstorming, storytelling, feedback, use it for evaluations and reviews, and um, things listed underneath each one of ways you can use it. I'll let you read through a couple of days. These are, these are great things you can use in the classroom. I listed those many examples, but here's just um, one example of a way I, I was going to use it in the classroom. First grade writing language. Um, it's a wall of creative for students to practice their language skills. Give students a list of words and have them write a sentence using different adjectives to describe the different words. I thought this would be a fun activity for students to come up with a variety of sentences and share um, with one another their creative ideas. And this is my board using adjectives, my title, write a sentence with each word using an adjective, dog, bear, frog, house, field, jacket. And I went ahead and did an example, I have a big black dog, my purple jacket is in the car, and you know, you can add another sticky note. To create more sentences, I would have the students each have five or six sticky notes to have a sentence about each one, um, and then we could... Um, Compare sentences, see whose were alike, whose were different, who used the same adjectives, who had the most interesting adjectives. It could be a fun activity to do, um, whole group. This is just the course of study objective I used to um, um, create the wall. And some references. Um, as you can see, the, the possibilities are endless. And if you go back and look on the um, ideas I have listed in yellow, you will see um, get many ideas for your classroom, all sorts of fun things you can try that the kids, I think, that would enjoy. Um, as, you, as you can see, it's easy. Um, I highly recommend it. I've had a lot of fun playing around with it, and I can see myself using it many times in the future. <laughs>